Hey Jagger peeps, hope you liked the Ghana episode. Ah, Ghana, Africa's training wheels country. You gotta love them. So, without further ado. So a little side note, I'm actually gonna make Flag Friday also a Fan Friday in which I open up the packages that you guys sent to our public mailbox. So stay tuned because at the end of this video, I'm gonna open up these packages. In the meantime, let's jump into the flag. The flag of Ghana is a horizontal tricolor of red, yellow, and green with a black five-pointed star in the middle. Ghana was the first country to be inspired by the Ethiopian pan-Africanist colors and started the trend that many other African countries would soon follow. Little side note, a lot of African countries kind of look up to Ethiopia. Ethiopia is kind of like the wise old man of Africa. Africa. The colors each have their own symbolism. The green represents the country's rich forests and natural resources. The yellow represents the mineral wealth, especially in gold. And the red stands for... And this is probably the part where you'd expect an animation from like Vincent or Potter, but technical difficulties, it couldn't get done on time. So here's the next best thing. Weird, never before seen footage. Finally, the black star in the middle symbolizes the African emancipation and the African people. Fun side note, the independence arch mentioned in the Ghana episode is actually part of a bigger section called Black Star Square, which has a sports stadium and a memorial park that looks pretty cool. Now, in terms of their coat of arms, like mentioned in the episode, there are two golden eagles wearing Black Star of Africa medallions flanking the sides of a shield divided into four quadrants. The top left is showing a sword and a staff used by chiefs and linguists in ceremonies symbolizing the traditional authority. The second top right quadrant shows the Osu Castle, the president palace located off the coast. The bottom left quadrant shows a cocoa tree embodying the agricultural richness of Ghana, especially in cocoa. And finally, the bottom right depicts a gold mine symbolizing the wealth and minerals, especially in gold. In the center of the shield on a green St. George's cross with gold fimbriations is a lion representing the continuous cooperation between Ghana and the rest of the Commonwealth nations. On top lies the crest of a black star of Africa in a gold outline on top of a torus with the national colors, all of which is on top of a grassy field and scroll reading freedom and justice. Whew! Look Looking good, Ghana. Gotta love those golden eagles. And gold, everything. Gold is kind of your thing. So now that that's finished, let's open up these packages. So I actually got two packages from Australia. One was from James from Perth, and this one is from Sharni from Adelaide. I'm gonna open James's first, all right? Oh my gosh, what do we got? Ah, 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 ah. Of course, Tim Tam. I've seen these. Oh, Vegemite. Now, I've had Marmite. I've never had Vegemite. Actually, you know what? I'll try a little bit right now. Look at that. There's a little bubble. I actually like the salty taste. Oh, that's a little different from Marmite. Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> Kangaroo crossing. It's like a little koala and kangaroo. Aussie rubber wristband. A little pouch. Dude, this is so cool. A bunch of Aussie coins. Oh, there's also a centavo coin from East Timor. And a few letters. Ah, there's James. There you are, James. So James says this is him in Cristo Rey with his friend in... Uh, East Timor. He's very proud of his home city in Perth. I really actually do want to go to Perth because it's I think it's probably one of the most underrated cities in Australia. Hey Barbie, my name is Lock Locky? I thought your name was James. Oh, James is your middle name. Oh my gosh, this whole time I thought your name was James. Sorry, Lockie, uh, your name, or Lachlan. He's been subscribed since Bosnia and Herzegovina. Lachlan James, thank you so much for this package. Really appreciate it. I would love to go to Perth one day. Oh, I forgot I gotta try one of these. Tim Tams. So just a heads up, guys. Uh, Handsome Luke is actually my personal trainer. You guys remember Handsome Luke, right? And he actually put me on like a low salt, low sugar diet. So I can't really eat too many of these snacks you guys send me. I'll take like one bite of each, but I'll give the rest to like Brandon and or or something like that. Oh, that is, that is decadent. Okay, now the big guy, this box from Sharni. Whoa, look at that. Aussie salute. There is so much stuff in this box. Cup holder, Sydney Opera House book. In every picture, there's a Sharni's in every single one of those pictures. What do we have, what is this? Like, what, what is this? What is this? Oh, jeez, what the, dude, what the heck? This is like an actual, Taxidermized animal head. Is that the real nose? The fox heads came from feral foxes killed for wildlife control and turned into fur stoles. So I guess these animals were like overpopulating your country and that's why it's oh, you, like, okay, oh, okay. I've never had anybody send me a taxidermized animal before. These cool rocks from the outback and the other areas. Whoa, this is a coin commemorating Australia's 100th anniversary. Roadkill recipes. Look at that, it teaches you how to cook a possum and a goanna lizard. Ah, a little postcard from your hometown, Adelaide. Oh, 
an Australia beach towel. Oh, Sharni, you sent so many amazing things. So, thank you so much, Sharni. Okay, I have one more package, and it is from Blake from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada. I love Canadians. They're, oh, they're so pleasant. They're just the most pleasant people on the planet. Let's see what pleasantries you got for me, Blake. Okay, right when I open it, there's a letter. It says, Paul B, I've been subscribed since the Gabon episode. Bonjour. Snacks, snacks, snacks. Old Dutch dill pickle chips. Nah, you know my diet. I can't have too many salty things, but I gotta try one of these, okay? Mmm, mmm, you can taste the dill. I love dill. I'm gonna give the rest of these candies to Brandon and Ken. Is that cool? Can I do that, Blake? Is that cool? Can I give these to Brandon and Ken? So a lot of you guys also sent letters and postcards, and here's some of them. Nana from Malaysia sends this proboscis monkey card. Molly from Nebraska writes a letter in which she says, thanks to your videos, I fell in love with Estonia and next year I'm moving to Tartu to finish my degree. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have discovered this beautiful country. Well, Molly, I'm glad you fell in love with Estonia and I'm glad that Geography Now could help along the way. Enjoy your time in Tartu. Uh, Shanna from Quebec, Canada. She sends this, uh, this map of Europe that she drew. Maya from Minnesota sends me this postcard from Minnesota. Fun side note, Maya, I was born in Minnesota. Finally, I got something from Bulgaria. This is so cool, look at that. I love your channel. I started watching after you uploaded the Bulgaria video. Makes sense. The little red and white charms I'm sending you are called Martinici. We wear those on a holiday called Baba Marta. I think that, was that in my video? Was that in the Bulgaria video? I think it was. This tradition exists to celebrate the beginning of spring. Best wishes, Milaha. These little charms, look at that, they're so cool. You know, little snazzy thing, I got my Australia and I got my Bulgaria. Australia, Bulgaria. So in conclusion, guys, thank you for sending all these cool things. I'm probably gonna share a lot of the snacks with the other people on the Geography Now team, like Ken and Brandon. I really appreciate all this. You guys are amazing. And uh, stay tuned for the next Flag Friday. Stay cool, stay tuned.